This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, June 26, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two tropical systems or tropical waves in play. We're going to talk about the first one over here, south of Cuba in the Caribbean. It has a 20% chance of formation, is headed towards the Yucatan Peninsula and then into the Gulf of Mexico. That is being followed by a second tropical system or tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. And that system is headed towards the Lesser Antilles and actually has a 40% chance of formation in the next couple of days. Now, if y'all have been keeping up with my reports over the last couple of days, you're aware that we have a large dust slash sandstorm heading from the Sahara across the Atlantic. And that was supposed to really squash all of this tropical weather. But I will show you what they're saying today. Headed over to my Fox Hurricane, we're looking at the last couple of hours of our enhanced satellite covering Invest 94L or Invest 94 low, the fourth low of the 2024 Atlantic season. And I don't see much rotation here, but I do see a build up of thunderstorms intensely over the last couple of hours right here off the coast of Venezuela. And we can see bands starting to form here. I almost want to say that it's spinning the wrong way clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And I'll show you that more so on the water vapor maps. We've actually just had several modeling agencies release spaghetti models of where they think Invest 94L is headed. Now, again, it doesn't have a huge chance of formation. However, these spaghetti models were actually released at 4 p.m. today, as you can see. And this is now a numbered low Invest 94L once again. Now, with that said, all of the spaghetti models released at 4 p.m. today have the storm going over Central America, perhaps the Yucatan Peninsula, and then passing over Mexico into the Atlantic, much like we saw out of the other storm. So we might be spared here in the Gulf Coast states of the United States. So everyone knows that Hurricanes spin counterclockwise, or tropical lows spin counterclockwise. So we have a tropical low here that appears to be spinning clockwise to me. This happened with the other storm as well. Very, very hard to explain. And you can see the intensification here, just off the coast of Colombia and Venezuela. Again, I see rotation going clockwise. Let me know what you see in this picture. Here is our infrared satellite. And I must say that I actually see the storm spinning the wrong way here as well. Tell me if y'all don't see it spinning clockwise instead of counterclockwise as it should. Again, it's forming right about here would be the central location. And it looks like it's intensifying much quicker than they anticipated with only a 20% chance of formation. It to me looks like it will form into some sort of tropical system. Now we all know how hot the water temperatures are in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, and they're only gonna get hotter through July and August. And this should be a very active hurricane season based on what we've seen thus far. This is just another pictorial of both the storms. 
The storm actually has now a 20% chance of formation, and this one a 40% chance of formation, and it looks like it's going to be moving very fast. Now, back to the Sahara dust sandstorm that was supposed to smush all this tropical activity. So, here is a pictorial or model of our dust slash sandstorm. And you can see it's pushing up into the Gulf of Mexico and pretty much has covered the entire Atlantic Ocean from Africa all the way over to North America here through the Caribbean. And again, I would think that this much dust sand would kill all tropical activity, but that is not what we're seeing here. That right there is the predicted hurricane or tropical system. And that right there is the other predicted system. So they're fighting their way through this heavy dust slash sandstorm coming off the Sahara Desert, according to my Fox Hurricane. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out and where these two systems end up. And do expect more systems soon. If you're not prepared, get prepared. There's still time. The U.S. has not been hit by a tropical system yet. So, in summary, the National Hurricane Center has two tropical systems headed towards North America. The first one with only a 20% chance of formation. Looks like it will cross over the Yucatan Peninsula and perhaps cross over Mexico into the Pacific. The second storm has a 40% chance of formation. It's headed into the Caribbean through the Lesser Antilles, and again, as these storms get into warmer and warmer waters, they should intensify. And this is all despite the Sahara dust sandstorm heading our way, which actually should be impacting the Gulf Coast of the United States today and through the next week. God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.